Today, my friend, in front of me, one of new IVL automatic voltage regulator. Uh, this one we can use for shaft generator, we can use for auxiliary engine generator. So, it's a new and the generator was stand for. Uh, so, let's open and see how it looks like of the automatic voltage regulator. Okay. This how it looks like the AVL. So as you know, this is series MX, yeah, the type 341, yeah, minus two. So on this video, I will explain what is really function of all this terminal, yeah, and the potential. Because this one we don't need to know, this one we don't need to know, this one also, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So what you have to know here is only terminal and potential, yeah. And this one, how, why we have jumper here, why we have jumper here, why we have jumper here. So Zoro engineer will explain one by one what is the really function all of this terminal and potentimeter. Let's begin. Okay, in front of me, it's already have uh, a VR, yeah, automatic voltage regulator. This one is Stanford, yeah, Stanford, Stanford AVR, automatic voltage regulator, series, yeah, as you see here, series MX341, yeah. So, before we we see over overall of this function of this terminal and potential, first we have to know what is function of this AVR on the generator. So, the main function of this generator is to maintain a constant voltage level two electrical equipment on board on the same load so it means to keep the balance and stability of the voltage electrical voltage yeah when there is load anytime can be changed yeah on the on the generator so this FR can keep it stable and balanced so any change of the load on the generator, the air will be keep it balanced and stable. Stable, yeah. So okay, the next first we go to here. Yeah. This one. This terminal. Yeah. Uh, the first terminal with jumper to here. This one we call uh, power isolation link or excitations interruptions link. And from the factory, it's always keep it jumper with terminal K1 and K2. So this is terminal K1 and this is terminal K2. Okay. So that is from factory setting. So it's not changing because it's function of the series MX341. Okay, we move to the next terminal. There is three terminal here. One, two, three. So that one we call P2. This one. Yeah, this one P2, P3, and P4. So function of this terminal is the input of the terminal alternative current. Yeah, voltage alternative current. Which the voltage was sourced from permanent magnet generator or PMG where the input power from the AVR yeah, automatic voltage regulator it's alternative current voltage 3 pass it about 140 to 220 volt AC and the frequency it's between 100 and 120 Hz 
so the P2, P3, and P4, yeah. This is terminal input for the full tech alternative current. Where is the source from the PMG or permanent magnet generator? Yeah. Okay, so that is the three of terminal. Okay, next. Okay, next terminal is XX and X. Terminal XX and X is the terminal output from the AVR. Yeah. Where is going to the exciter, stator, yeah, and the output of the voltage from the air is the DC voltage. Where is variable depending of the load? Where is the generator uh, receive? Yeah. So one more one more time, I will explain. This is X X and X is terminal output from the AVR where is going to the exciter stator yeah where the output voltage from the AVR is DC direct current voltage yeah where is characteristic of this uh, output from voltage output from DC is variable yeah depending of the load where is the generator receive so when the generator get a load with the full load yeah so the AVR will be give output maximum maximum I mean with 120 volt DC where he's going so he's going to the exciter starter from generator okay that is the function of the X X and X Okay, next we go to the terminal 3 yeah, this one is 3 and 2 and 2 and 1 so as you see there is jumper here 2 and 1 yeah so what is the function of this one, 3 2 2 1 this one is terminal where can read read the sensing of the voltage output from the generator so when the output voltage generator was low yeah, the AVR will be supply or give more supply the DC voltage from the X1 from the X1 yeah, and X2 where is going to the exciter stator where is go to the exciter stator yeah this one the x1 and x2 xx to x1 yeah it is mean so the voltage from dc yeah is going to the exciter stator and when it's opposite also yeah when the avr read the voltage was too high then AVR will be reduce the supply yeah DC voltage from the X1 and X2 yeah where is going to the exciter stator so this is opposite the other one when is the when is the sensing is reading uh, a low yeah he will give more supply of DC voltage but when is the uh, the sensing was reading that is too high so the ever will be supply less of DC voltage to the to the exciter stator so that is the function of this one okay this is terminal number three two two one and two one is always jumper and this is factory setting so this is according also with the type or series MX341 star 4 okay so we go to the next terminal yeah I will turn it a little bit it's more easy to explain okay now it's good for you yeah my turning uh, so this is next terminal it's A1 and this one a2 so this is a1 a2 
So what is this terminal? This is a terminal you can use when the AVR yeah, to give additional accessories. Uh, so when you give the additional accessories to this AVR, this terminal A1, A2, uh, you can use it. But if not, is you you not you don't need this one. So example the power vector control, yeah, PFC. So when the power vector control, uh, you edit on this uh, additional accessories on this AVL, so you can connect to here. So that is function of the A1 and A2. And then the next terminal is S1 and S2. So what is the function of this terminal? Uh, the function of this terminal is to connect it, go to the transformer, uh, where is special uh, making by the type of the series, yeah, MX341, can be read the current output from the generator. So, once more, the S1 and S2 S1, S2, the function of this one is uh, terminal which connected to the transformer to make special for this series MX341 yeah, to read the current output from the generator. So that is the function of this terminal S1 and S2. So next is num terminal. This one we call terminal number one and number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So there is eight terminal here. It's the group. Yeah. As you see, it's also some jumper here. Yeah. With terminal two and three. Yeah. And four and five, and six and seven. So, uh, I will explain one by one. Okay, the next is terminal number one. Yeah, we call this terminal number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, what is the group of this terminal function? As you see, there is also jumper here. Yeah, I will explain also. So, the function of this terminal number one and eight is for sensing selection where we can use yeah to choose how many sensing yeah sensing uh, links yeah to use in AVR. So when you use uh, two pairs, let's say we let's say when you use two pairs sensing, yeah. So then you have to jumper with terminal two and three. This one, yeah. So that is the function of this terminal. So when you want to use uh, sensing of two pairs, then you must uh, jumper uh, terminal number two and number three, and terminal number four and number five, and terminal number six and number seven. So when you using yeah, this terminal, when you're using sensing for two pairs, then you have to jumper like this, yeah, Just like this. But when you want to use this terminal as sensing three pairs, so then you have to jumper number one and number two, yeah, number one and number two, yeah, this one, and number three and four. 3 and 4 this one yeah and number 7 and 8 this one so 5 and 6 is will be free this when you using for sensing three phase but here as you see it's sensing for two phase yeah okay so that is clear now we have to move to the next terminal here <clears throat> yeah I will turning again so it's more 
clear to see yeah so okay okay maybe we have to move to this first yeah because this uh, terminal it is connected with this uh, potential but it's sealed you see i sealed so i will explain first with this one yeah so this one uh, is a trim yeah trim so what is function of this potential thank you for watching please see the continue video in the part two of the explanation uh, avr mx341